The Oklahoma Coalition to Abolish the Death Penalty is speaking out, fighting to save the life of a death row inmate, Jemaine Cannon. Cannon is facing a July 7th execution date for the beating death of Sharonda Clark in 1995 in Tulsa. Today, several lawmakers and anti-death penalty opponents held a news conference. They argue Cannon should remain in prison, but his death sentence should be set aside. They say he was severely abused as a child, has mental illness, along with a medical condition, giving him a limited vision, hearing, and limited life expectancy. The record shows that Jermaine was, uh, suffered from PTSD, PTSD from all the violence that he uh, suffered, had recurring visions of all the violent episodes uh, that his mother and his stepfather uh, inflicted upon him. He also had uh, uh, his uh, paranoid schizophrenic. That could help explain his unwillingness even today to express remorse. He says Cannon's paranoia led him to try to represent himself in the appeals process, handicapping his initial chance at a successful appeal. He's now represented by an attorney who argues there is no convincing evidence Cannon was acting in self-defense when he killed Clark.